Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys another reading today. So the topic is exposed. Who is obsessed with you? So yes, we're definitely going to look at a person and expose them for being obsessed with you. Why is this person obsessed with you? Maybe they've had some sort of a connection with you before. So this could be somebody from your past. This could be somebody that's new, maybe even somebody that you don't know. But I do tend to channel for those that, you know, do have a little bit at least of a history with someone. You know, that way there's just some substance to work with. So anyways, you guys, I just want you to take what resonates for you today and get rid of anything that doesn't. All the decks I'll be using here will be listed down below as well as this beautiful Organite here. So let's get started. We're going to take a look and see who is this person that can't get their mind off of you, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into my bowl of names here and just pick, you know, a few, even if your person's name doesn't show up or somebody that doesn't ring a bell, it is okay. It could be even somebody connected to them. There are many other things that we're going to tap into to see who this person is okay all right so let's see what does spirit want us to know today in regards to this person that's obsessed with you currently okay Ooh, we have kenneth so it could be ken kenneth or kenny all right so there's that all right let's see someone else we've got samuel so samuel sam or sammy mm-hmm We've got Paul, Polly. We've got Keith. We've got Harvey. We've got Kyle. So two K names so far, well, actually three K names so far. Taylor, we've got Tyler, or Ty, we've got Otto, we've got Isaac, Ronald, Ron, or Ronnie, We've got Finn. And we'll grab these two. Oh, three. We've got Vince or Vinny. We've got Tristan. And we've got Jose. All right, you guys. So these names could be the person that is obsessed with you, a form of their name, or this name is connected to this person in some way. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get some specifics. Who is this person that can't get their mind off of you that's obsessed with you right now? Let's take a look. Ooh, we have cancer. So this person could be a cancer. They could be born between June 21st and July 22nd. It could also be when you met this person in cancer season. We have Libra now, so we've got um, the energy here of Libra. I can't remember the exact dates, but it's like uh, September, October energy. Could be when you met this person. We have uh, Scorpio's energy here, so this is going to be November, like uh, October, November. And we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy here. So I believe that is oh, May, April, May. Yeah, April, May energy. So we've got a little bit of everything here. Well, actually, we just don't have any fire, but that's okay. We do have earth. We have two water energies here, and we have an air energy. Okay, so you could have met this person during these periods of time. Maybe this is your sign, their sign, but it's most likely going to be connected to them. All right, so we're going to definitely continue here. What other energy is tied to this person? 
Oh, we have Venus. So that's Taurus energy as well as Libra. And we did just get Taurus and Libra pop up. So that could be very specific to someone out there. But this person might have really good taste. They might look really good. They're super attractive. They may uh, really take good care of themselves. Um, they could be, you know, like if they're masculine, they could be in touch with their feminine side. They like to have really beautiful things. They like, to, they're, you know, they like to have somebody maybe beautiful on their arm, that sort of thing. Uh, but I just feel like this person has very fine taste either in clothing their car their house or just what they like to do okay all right let's go ahead and get some specific zodiac signs even though taurus and libra are highlighted so far in this reading we have scorpio again so we've got two times scorpios coming through this person might be very intense this might uh, be somebody that you had if if you guys have had a history with this person, a very intense love affair with somebody who maybe when you guys physically connected, if you know what I mean, it was like very, um, like transformative. It was very intense, very deep, some kind of spiritual love making type of situation here. But that could be your particular person. Um, this person might also be somebody who's, you know, kind of like lurking in the shadows. You know, they're really hiding how deep and intense they actually feel for you, which, of course, you know, we're exposing them today. They're obsessed with you. They think about you a lot. It's definitely coming through. All right, let's go ahead and get some house cards here. All right, let's see. Oh, we have the 11th house. And I believe the 11th house is Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken. So it says where the cosmos grant wishes, luck, friends, and social situations. Yeah, so this right here, um, it's funny because November, I feel like this person, you could have met them in November. You had a very intense connection with them in November. Um, maybe you guys parted ways in November, but November, I feel with the 11 energy here is very significant to your person. So we definitely have um, Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio very highlighted here. And even if your person isn't those signs, they could have placements in their chart, okay? Or you could have really dealt with your person during that period of time all right so let's now go ahead and see what else we need to know what else is connected to this person for who they are who is this person that can't get their mind off of you Okay, so they could have a departed loved one connected to them. So they could have lost a parent. They could have lost a sibling, somebody very close to them at some point in their life. So that could be somebody that is on the other side to this person. We have computer. I feel like this person um, either works with computers or it could be that you um, maybe met them on the computer. You guys converse back and forth through emails or something like that, or they're actually looking at you online, okay? We also have flying, so this person could, um, you know, have like a, a license to fly, whether it's airplanes or helicopters or something like that. They could have gone skydiving. I'm getting that too. This person, it may be that um, you would have to, like, they could get in their, they would have to get into a plane perhaps to come and see you, or that would just be the easier route. So maybe you guys live at a distance from one another, or distance at one another, and you guys would have to fly to one another to see each other. So that's interesting. Okay, we have music. So this person could be musically inclined. It could be that music is just very important to this person. This could also be how you guys communicate on a telepathic level. So if this is already sounding like someone that you know, it may be that you feel like you're getting messages from this person through music. You know, you're like, you hear certain songs and then all of a sudden it's like, you know, you feel like they're speaking to you. So I feel like there could be tel uh, telepathic energy exchange between the two of you. Something about time flying by, you know, time flies by when you guys are together. So it's like you're in this whirlwind of energy, I feel, when you guys spent time together. So I, de I definitely feel like it's probably somebody that you have spent time. Yeah, it fell really hard, really quick, really fast. So I'm getting here. So yeah, um, you fell very deeply for this person. I feel like they probably felt very deep, fell deeply for you, or you guys just feel really intense about one another. Um, but it's like flew by, fell really quick, some quick energy here. This could have been a short-lived connection um, with this person. 
We have cat, so it could be they're like a cat. So this could be like Leo lion type of energy, like a lion, king of the jungle, very masculine energy, very dominant and powerful. But this could be that this person loves cats um, or there's a cat that's connected or a cat on the other side I'm getting here that might be connected to this person. For, or like just might not even be a cat. It, it specifically says cat. It could be um, an animal on the other side that you knew or they knew um, of, of each other, if that makes sense. We have guide. All right, I feel like there's a, a spirit guide on the other side. Yeah, spirit guide on the other side. It could be in the form of an animal guide, actually. But there's some kind of a spirit guide here that's showing up in this reading um, that I feel also like maybe you're even connecting to, if that makes sense for somebody out there, um, or that they feel like that's their their like their spirit guide, their animal guide, their their spirit animal. Yeah, that's this this person I feel has a spirit animal that's from the other on the other side, and you know that this person has a animal that passed away. That's what I'm getting here. So you can clarify if you know who this is. And we have naked. This person might be extremely comfortable being naked. Um, it might be that they look really good naked. <laughs> um, maybe you guys just really had a lot of times together where you uh, spent lying naked together and it was just, you know, amazing. So that could be it too. And we have doctor. Interesting. All right. So this could be somebody that is in the medical field. Somebody that helps people. Um, there could be somebody in their, their family that is a doctor or in the medical field. So that could be connected to them as well. Uh, this could also be somebody who has stripped down naked and has, um, you know, like had a complete and total transformation and have, and has healed something. So it could be that you've heard that this person has gone through some sort of major healing, major death transformation, um, has completely stripped away, has been stripped away of everything and has had to start over and kind of fix their life. So that could also connect this, um, this connect, connect the dots to who this person might be. All right, let's continue. What else? What are their, um, let's get some archetypes for this person. Okay. Okay, so we have the Fool energy here. So to me, this is kind of like in terror, the Fool. We do have Aquarius connected here with the Fool. Uh, this person could be um, very freedom loving. Maybe they don't necessarily, maybe when you knew them, didn't want to have a commitment. Maybe they wanted to travel light. They just wanted to just travel, period. So this Fool person could definitely be somebody who is just not really wanting to, um, not really wanting to reveal too much. But I feel like this person really feels deeply, but maybe they're afraid to let you know that. That's what I'm picking up on. Maybe they wore a mask too. They wore a mask. They masked a lot of their feelings when they were with you. Maybe now that there is maybe some separation between the two of you, it may be that that's why they're really diving deep into the way that they feel now. Perhaps. We have Martyr. Uh, this kind of reminds me of Virgo for some reason. And uh, Virgo is somebody who's definitely here to basically be of service and to and to help others. So they could have uh, Virgo on their chart. Definitely um, maybe somebody who's traveled to like um, foreign countries and has helped like aid or something. So like a bit of a, bit of a humanitarian person coming through here. Might also be to the, what I'm getting with now, the slave energy here. It's almost like maybe this person gives a lot and then uh, they foolishly, like they make foolish choices and they give a lot and then they complain when they got taken advantage of. So this could be this person, okay? We have child, eternal, interesting. They're very trusting, um, maybe even a little naive with that eternal child. You know, maybe there's just certain situations that they've gone into time and time again, and you would think like, when are they going to learn their lesson? But this person is just kind of like lights and, and just kind of, you know, maybe sees the good in everyone. So in a way they ended up, they end up hurting themselves or getting hurt because they get taken advantage of. We have damsel. Yeah. Damsel in distress. This person might have an issue with, um, wanting to save people. Or they have a soft side for people that are down and out. And so they definitely want to lend a helping hand. They want to help the underdog. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. But of course, sometimes depending on people out there, you know, their, um, their motives, sometimes you can get taken advantage of. So I do feel like this person might be the type of individual that's a little old fashioned, that's willing to basically help, um, uh, you know, if they're like a, like a man, like willing to help women and children before themselves, it, you know, so, something like that. 
that's like that martyr energy here um wanting to help the less fortunate that kind of attitude as well okay so that's what we have so far so let's go ahead and get some tarot cards connected to your person and then we're going to shift into the next stage Okay, so we have the two of wands. So this person, who are they that can't get their mind off of you? This could be somebody who's at a crossroads, somebody that needs to make some sort of a decision. It could be about you and your connection for sure. We have the four of cups. Somebody that's just not satisfied with what they have in front of them. They're not satisfied with the situation between the two of you. So they're obsessed with you, but they're not telling you. They're hiding this from you. And they need to make a decision. So they're unhappy with the fact that they haven't made this decision. And they're unhappy with what they have in front of them, which isn't you. This person could be also be somebody who rejected you in the past. Three of cups here. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they've got a lot of people around them. But what they have in front of them, it, it's just not what they want. You know, the, this to me tells me that they probably just are hyper-focused on you. They want you. Um, they, they have a lot of people that are willing participants to be with them and to hang out with them and, and to like give them things, but I feel like they just don't want it because they're hyper-focused on you. This could also be somebody who put you in a third party in the past and um, wants to make amends for it with that temperance card, um, put you in a third party lover's triangle here and rejected you, kind of pushed you out. And now they're wanting to make a decision to reconcile these differences with you with the temperance energy. This is Sagittarius, by the way. Oh, we have two here. We have seven of cups. This is somebody who's dreaming about you. This is somebody who's dreaming of what could have been between the two of you. So maybe they blew it with you. Six of wands means they want to be able to figure out how they can be victorious in this situation. So, um, you know, it's going to require strength and courage on their part to make this decision instead of just kind of dream about it. Um, in, in order to turn it into a reality, they're going to have to do something. And that's where this decision comes in. Yeah, we have the Hermit here. So this is uh, Virgo's energy coming up again. Um, it looks like right now they could go within themselves or maybe they have gone within themselves and a light bulb has been turned on. So they've had some sort of an epiphany or spiritual awakening here. We have the Four of Wands. And it could be that their spiritual awakening is that they see you now as that person that they want to be with, that they you know, want to build that four of wands with that life with. So you could be dealing with someone who wasn't serious before, but now suddenly they're serious. Um, maybe they went out into the world and kind of realized, eh, you know, it wasn't all that. And so now they're kind of thinking back on that one connection that was so amazing. And it could be that that person is you. I'll be the hangman. This is um, Pisces energy. So this uh, is somebody who is there. They feel stuck. They feel stuck. They feel kind of hung up. I definitely feel like this person's hung up on you. That's what I definitely want to say. But they are confused and they're trying to get some sort of clarity. And I feel like spirit is actually aiding them in this process. And they do have this spirit guide on the other side that I feel is helping to illuminate something for them on this path, especially when it comes to you and this connection. Very interesting. You could have known the person that passed away or knew this person when they were dealing with this loss for some reason. I'm just getting that too. What are the surface level thoughts that this person is having about you currently? Let's look at this. What's going on in their thoughts? What's happening here? What's the deal? What are you thinking about? Wow. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm getting here, you guys, is that this person um, and you definitely had some sort of a conflict in the past. So they're thinking about the karma. Um, they see you as a soulmate, actually. They see you as somebody like the one that got away. And this is interesting to me. You know, that's like a, like almost like a, that's crescent, like new moon, kind of almost eclipsy to me. So it could be that there has been something that just really was revealed to them during this eclipse that could be connected because a lot of information came through in my readings uh, for that eclipse. This person could have finally uh, matured enough and now can see the light, whereas they were not able to um, see it before. But there's an unresolved issue between the two of you. And I'm seeing here that what they're thinking about is perhaps how to resolve this, how to uh, reconcile these differences between the two of you with uh, temperance, how to have a reconciliation. 
Wow, look at that, heart rate, ooh. Okay, so your person is, first of all, there's a musical instrument here, so I feel like if you guys are receiving information through songs, definitely listen, because I feel like this is your person's heartstrings, and it's like playing this melody for you, telling you how they feel, okay? But this is talking about, um, they want to know, like it says the melody of your heart falls on sympathetic ears. Someone is just as enthusiastic, brave, powerful, and positive as you. They want to know if you feel, um, if you feel something for them too. If your heart still races when you think about them, do you still feel intensely for them? Interesting. So definitely feel like this is someone that you guys have had a history with. And that's why I always say that, you know, I, I, I'm always gearing more towards doing a reading for people that have, have had a connection, not somebody you don't know. So I'm glad I put that out there because that's just how my readings roll. All right, let's see what else. I feel like your person's heart rate, heart rate rises when they think about you and when they think about what happened in the past. That's for sure. Damn, and we have the Ace of Swords. And that's kind of cool because I feel like they've gotten some sort of clarity here. They want to make contact. They want to take that sword and they want to cut through the air. They want to cut through the stagnation here and they want to have some sort of resolution or even conversation. So they are thinking about this. It's very clear. Things are clearing up in their mind about how they feel and what they want to do and how they want to resolve this conflict between the two of you. All right, what else are they thinking? Yeah, the, the, okay, so here's the medical, the doctor. This is, uh, they, they wanna fix this, interesting. So I feel like also too, maybe in the past, this person, so this doctor energy, it may be that they had to heal themselves because if you, if you see on the bottom, it says heal thyself. Maybe they were not in a place before where they were, you know, they hadn't done a lot of healing work. So maybe they have since become healthier Maybe they have um, fixed some sort of, a, you know, issue that they had, maybe an addiction or just something. And so now that they have cleared something up, it's like they're able to have this clear thinking about you and this connection. Oh, well, we have synchronicity. Oh, wow. It, to me, it's like this chapter is not over. This chapter is definitely not over. Okay. So it's talking about, um, it says one person's joy is another sorrow. Light and shadow will always show themselves alternately and shape your character. I feel like this person has gone through some sort of shadow. And it's funny because you may have been really sad and maybe even devastated and, and been in a state of sorrow once this person, let's just say they ended something with you in the past you know, kind of close the chapter on this story. And I feel like now this person is picking up this book again and they're looking at, at the story and they're wanting to re-enter and or maybe pick back up where they left off with you. Maybe figure out how to fix it. Now that they're feeling better, it's like they feel like they're ready to do something. I feel like this just showed up in the reading that I did on Thursday. Very similar vibe here. Yeah, look at that judgment. Judgment is about uh, wanting to resurrect something from the past. So there's definitely something about this individual wanting to, wanting to, um, you know, resolve something from the past with you, and and have this conversation, and wanting to know whether or not you guys are in sync. Yeah. So there's this need I feel to know, and that's what your person is really thinking about. They're thinking about. Do you perhaps share this thought or this feeling with a bomb? Damn. <laughs> okay. I feel like it was a bomb that this person dropped on you if they ended something with you because it talks about the end. This is, there's an incident. There's also betrayal here. Mm, you know, could have been third party energy, perhaps. Uh, judgment is also ruled by Pluto, which is death. So it's like, in the end, what this person perhaps did was dropped a bomb on you and then left the building and you were just like, what the hell? So it was like major tower, shock, surprise, devastation. So I feel like they're thinking about that. They're also thinking about like, I, not, I'm not like really getting this, but just like them coming into your life again. It's like, it, it would be like dropping a bomb in your life. Like it may be that you've never expected to hear from this person again. So this person that's obsessed with you right now, they're obsessively thinking about the past and how to 
reconcile these differences with you. Okay, so yeah. It says, nothing and nobody throws you off course. In the end, you stand up straight. Okay, this is interesting. It may be that this individual threw a bomb in your life and you crumbled down like the tower, but you resurrected, so you are the lady of the sea. Okay, so they didn't they didn't destroy you um they didn't they didn't necessarily throw you off course they may have affected you quite significantly but they didn't destroy you so i do feel like this individual knows that you're still standing they know that you're still um you know alive and perhaps even thriving and so i feel like this is also another reason why this person may want to re-enter into the situation is because maybe they're seeing you as not as upset or or maybe enough time has gone by to where it'd be okay if they reached out but i feel like either way they know it's going to be a little bit of a bomb <laughs> yeah all right let's see what else yeah we have two aces Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity, wanting to open up this gate, wanting to go into this new garden and plant a new seed. So I feel like this person is not just thinking about this. They're actually thinking about how to uh, uh, like uh, physically approach you, how to actually re-enter into your life, how to drop that bomb of a, like an email or a message for you. <laughs> I swear, it's crazy. I feel like you're going to be so shocked to hear from this individual. And we have birth, so that, of course, is talking about something new, some kind of a rebirth here. We did just have that death energy, the past, but it is about, you know, new events stirring back up and something new being birthed. So they're thinking about how to bring this back to life. We have self-destruction. Interesting. So uh, this says you burn for someone yeah this person's burning i just got this song i'm burning i'm burning i'm burning for you i don't know who sings it but it's kind of, i think it's like an 80s song this person is burning for you and i feel like the destruction of this connection was their own doing which is why we have that self-destruction so i feel like they're revisiting this again in their mind because they want to try to pick this back up Yeah, now we see that have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like they want, they first of all, they see you as this queen. This is Capricorn's energy. They see your value. Um, they want to be with you in the actual physical material world. Um, and I just also am seeing here, like they want to know whether or not if they come in with this delivery, if you will take this pentacle that they're trying to deliver to you. So regardless of whether you give this person a chance or not, I do feel like they're thinking about bringing you some sort of a message. I definitely see that for sure. And they're burning up with desire to do this. It's, it's really, it says fighting spirit. Like they're, they're really kind of trying to fight this feeling, but I just got the song. I can't fight this feeling any longer. Holy shit. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I can't fight this feeling any longer. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. That's it. So that's your person right now. That's what they're thinking. That's how they're feeling about everything. So we're going to shift gears and we're going to go over to into the extended. If you guys want to know more, if this sounds like someone that you know, especially somebody you dealt with before, we're going to take a look and see what are their erotic fantasies about you and them that keep this person yearning for you, burning for you late at night. Also, what qualities do they find most attractive about you? Also, are they spying on you or have other means to admire you? I'm getting for a lot of you. Yes. Cause that computer that showed up and then will they ever come out of hiding and confess all of these feelings for you so go ahead and click on that link in the description box down below if you guys want to join me over there and if not thank you guys so much for watching take care bye-bye